In this one, we go to Toronto to check out some really cool street art. Around the corner, I thought I'd seen you. Thought you were looking for me. I thought I reached you. I belong in some other feature. Someone who reached in. You love to leave me. But I can't get out of this. So, did you like it? Who loved it? I had my sixth latte. And everything is just a mess, but I am doing fine. Heard what I'm spinning around. Make a decision. amount of space possible. And for today's meal choices, take my advice, do not take the fish. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck. Folks, I know you enjoy hearing this tone. Every time I push the button, I just enjoy making it. It drives the flight attendants crazy. I don't even know what it does. Thank you. So we're in Toronto, Canada, and it's, you know, one of our favorite cities. It's very cultural and a lot of things to do. And they got good people, they got bad people. It's just like New York. But one of our favorite people is Elizabeth. Not only does she work in, in broadcasting, but she works for the Blue Jays, where she says, 50-50 tickets. <laughs> Just the, like that. Just like that. She's the 50-50 person. <laughs> I don't have any money. Then well, they yeah. can't buy any tickets. You're not going to win. <laughs> this is Nathan Phillips Square that we're here. Mm -hmm. And that's City Hall. So I've lived in Toronto for four years, and I haven't done nearly as much like touristy things. And stuff. I do know that in the winter, this is all iced over here where they've got the water. Ah, uh, skating. And, and it's big skating rink. Those arches light up. It's really popular. Oh, they put a cool. big tree up in the square here too. That's all lit up. Right okay, here. Jason is with us now, so we are definitely going for donuts. Not like that, but he's zooming closer. There's a lot of strategy going on here. Mm -hmm. A lot of strategy. Mm -hmm. okay. Trying to find the fastest donuts yeah. we can get to. Yeah. Whoa, Yankee fans. Hey, Yankee fans, look. I see Yankee fans. Yep. Wow, they're already here. They already live among us. Love 
building over there is the old Much Music building where on the other side Much of that, Music is like our MTV yes, back then. Was, okay, yeah. so okay. it's right the CTV building. there. All right. And on the corner of Queen and John are the two streets. There was a little booth called Speaker's Corner. Bare Naked Ladies, if you've heard of them, they were discovered there. And that's that was where they became famous. Hi! We're Bare Naked Ladies, and we're a little too cheap to make our own video, so here you go. Bare Naked oh. Ladies were discovered in the booth? Yeah, well, they were on the show, and then they just went yeah, from there. They just they went were into indie. the booth as a band and would just play. They'd yep. just play songs in the booth and be on the show, and people were like, hey, these guys are pretty good. We're Bare Naked Ladies against Speaker's Corner, Speaker's Corner. Mm, fries and gravy and cheese and That's all That's what I smell. Is there a poutinery around here? I think there might be. Yes. Tell me all about oh. it. around that that's pretty big Jason you're a seasoned professional right it's the Vatican City plane nothing on it it's ready to be devoured let's do it all right cheers Bottoms up. cheers around the corner we're going for chocolates now I thought I'd seen you oh, yeah. thought you You got your constellations right here. Yeah. Yeah, you do. deck as soon as you get your hot piping cups of coffee filled to the brim we will be experiencing turbulence and ladies and gentlemen let's keep those shoes on 
Passengers who take their socks off, not good. It's like chemical warfare in a closed environment. Let's keep those socks on, folks. Thank you. One, two, three, Only passengers seated in the window seats will need to use the lavatory. And have you ever noticed if there's a crying baby on board, it's always seated next to you. Thank you. This is not like uh, sitting on Sports Center. Remember that picture? <laughs> so this box came from Hawaii. How do I know it's from Hawaii? Because listen. Look at the sunshine coming right out of the box. What's in there? Sunny in that box. Lots oh, of Hawaiian snacks. Oh my gosh. I just want to say this one came empty. Yeah, I finished <laughs> that one off already. I had none. Thank you, Josh, very much. I'm gonna switch my ESPN hat. I got a stuff people have sent us hat. Look at that. It could be a anything hat. I know. I could. I got another message here. Donuts are good. These are jelly beans that taste like donuts. You know Specifically, what? crispy. Krispy Kreme donuts, yeah. Oh, that's so smart. You fill the mug up with coffee and you put a donut right in the top. Okay, wait, look we, at that. To, we happen to have a donut yeah, right yeah. here. Perfect. Here we go. Look at oh, that. Can you imagine what this with piping hot coffee and... I'm not even imagining it because I know it's gonna happen. I'm gonna go for the original glaze. I'm gonna try the blueberry Classic. glazed. I highly That's recommend amazing. these. These are jelly bellies and they're really good. They taste just like donuts. Not that we like donuts or anything here. Well, I'm pretty excited because most donuts that come in here are not gluten free, which I have to eat gluten free donuts. But this is? These are gluten free. Look at that. You're not gluten free because of a diet trend or something. No. You, you're you allergic. I mean, I'm, you're seriously I'm allergic to wheat. I'm medically supervised. Yeah. Which means when the, we eat. go to a restaurant and the rolls come, <laughs> they're all for me. This screamed your name at me, Dawn. Oh, that's nice. Dial in, and it actually looks like it's gonna fit. Fenway, all right. That's a that's a good looking Red Sox hat. Thank you. It's gonna blend right in with the with yeah. the dugout crew. By the way, this thing in the middle. If you've never been to Boston, when you're walking over the bridge to get to Fenway Park, you're passing this giant Sitco sign. Hold on. Being from Boston, <laughs> of course, we've got one. If I turn the lights out. Can you hear it? Yeah. The real one doesn't sound like that. That's the Cinco <laughs> sign across from Fenway in Boston. Thank you, JV and Ryan Hatch. It's awesome. Amazing gifts. Thank you. This box arrived from Danny Lyons in Connecticut, and it was it, it was heavy. It was so heavy. It was jammed to the brim with bags of, of candy, okay? I ate, I ate all of it. And I'm not kidding. I mean, there had to be 10, 12 of these. My share of the goods. It's not even peanut. But I have a bone to pick with. Uh, who makes these? M&M Mars? See these little tiny candy bars? They're fun size. They're fun size. It's, it's See if I can get it in the camera right there. It says... This is fun size. Fun size. Fun size. You don't think they're fun? No. The, the, why? Uh, why, are they, why are they any more fun size than... Because you don't have to make a heavy commitment. You oh, just grab and go. I make a heavy commitment. Rick taught me, once the bag is open, the bag has to be finished. So, Danny, this is how much I loved it. So thank you. There were literally 10 of these and over two this months is, I ate all of them. Do you want the Snickers? No, I just want the I'll M&Ms. Take this. I'll and take the Snickers. I plan on having fun straight from Miami. A really good friend who knows our number one vice. is not donuts, it's coffee. It's Madcap Coffee. It's got this cool bag, but it's from Vice C. 
City. In Miami. Vice City. So those of you who have to get want to get your 80s vibe on and you remember Miami Vice. And um, coffee is our vice. Thank you, Len. This one is from Larry the Prize Man. Larry the Prize Man gave us prizes. I know. So that's pretty exciting. Came all the way from Canada, by the way. All the way, way from Can from Van Canada. Vancouver. Way. Hold on. Ah, oh. The basket of flags. Right, uh, right, there, right there. Okay, thank you. There you go. Canada. All right. Since these vlogs are certified half Canadian. First, I, I want to call everyone's attention to these amazing socks. You cannot underestimate the value of a really good they're durable pair of They're broadcasting socks. socks. And you can oh. basically use this to share your mm -hmm. message. So then, you hold it up, so like, hmm, write down whatever you're feeling at the time. I'm not sure that will ever change this message, but mm. maybe there it is. You know, from the last vlog, this was my masterpiece, <clears throat> I would say. You know, I get a better shot on that camera. I know that, that you want this, so uh, what should we do, raffle it off? Imagine how this would look in your house or your office. Your office, I, I would put it in the office. So leave a comment down below yeah. that says, I don't want it or I do want it. We'll pick for the people who do want it, but I, I would like to know what the feedback is about my art, so I don't want it is okay. MSNBC. Yeah, we got this. Uh, sent us everything we could possibly ever that's want. That's a nice bag. This is a styling bag. This is a Decision 2020 NBC News uh, MSNBC mug. So notice that this is a uh, left-leaning mug, and when you hold them together, they don't like each other. See how they repel? He says the thing about the press. ISIS has spread like cancer. No, we still the press. Tomorrow they will say, Donald Trump rants and raves at the press. I'm not ranting and raving, I'm just telling you, you know, you're dishonest people. <laughs> Thank you. Some caps. Let me have more bags. Little moleskin books. Yes. This came from Rick Scott, and it is stunning. This is a piece of Moroccan burl wood. Rick has a wood shop. There's Crazy. nothing he can't build in there. It's a wood shop like I've never seen. Damn, it smells so good. I know, the smell. We could smell it even before we open the box. Craftsman and artist, and uh, we're so happy to have this. Thank you, Rick. Check this out. This is a thousand piece puzzle from Elizabeth. It's the periodic table of donuts. Look at that. <laughs> churros, donuts, get your original glazed, your powder. Yeah, so mm. the question is, is a churros a donut? I don't think so. Questionable. Let's call Alejandro and uh, and ask him. He would know. Alejandro, this is Jim and Don. We're doing a vlog. Is a churro a donut? Give me a call back and give me the definitive answer. I say no. She says it's questionable. <laughs> Thanks. It's a Sportsnet Fan wow. 590 watch. I always know what time it Thank is. Thank you very much. It's always time for sports. Got some moleskin books. I love these. It says Sportsnet and printed there. Hey gang, we are still baby YouTubers. So if you like what you see, please hit subscribe and remember to hit also hit the bell so you know when a new vlog is coming. And um, thanks for hanging with us. Folks, no flight ever leaves on time unless you're running late and need the delay to make that flight. And if you're running late for a flight, it will always leave from the farthest gate at the terminal. I have never been a crawler guy. I don't understand the crawler. I like a donut to be shaped like a donut. No. Well, if you don't understand it, then you should just eat it and move mm. on. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not a crawler guy. Jim, this is Alex calling from Fox 5 San Diego. I just took my phone out of my drawer and realized that I missed a call from you. Uh, you just started a, a, an argument in my household that split the house in half. Is a churro a donut? No. No. Yes. There's some uh, disagreement here, but me being of churro descent, I can uh, 
comfortably say that it is not a donut. And that's fact. Talk to you soon.